Hello and welcome to the Impact Dynamics podcast. I'm Andy Little. I'm Plushy. My name is Rusty. Yeah, today we're going to recap on the Leopold Capital Clash. Maybe it gives some war stories about Bucking. And uh, Plushy's definitely going to apologise. Here we go. Yep. Match director, mate. Match director. Chemistry <laughs> powder, bang. <laughs> <laughs> hope that's enough. We need your vote. Now we've caught up to where we are on the podcast. Right, go on back. Roll the outro. <laughs> I go away cool. for one episode. Yeah. One what? episode. Like, miss one episode in eight <clears throat> years. And you've offended everyone, Blushy. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> so I'll be away mm. next week. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so <laughs> you're back on, Josh. Let's see what we can do. All right, let's go. Oh, good. How are you, gentlemen? How are we all? We're going good. good? Going well, going well. Good, Andy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, going well. I only got three bits of death mail, death threat mail today, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, the numbers are coming down yeah, they finally. Are, they're they're yeah. coming down, yeah. All right. So are we putting a d- any disclaimers in? Like, Not yet. On the bottom <laughs> <end>? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Stay tuned. It's way too much editing for that. <laughs> good. Josh, what about you, mate? How you been? I'm back in my spot. It's, it's home. It's good. No, you it's the other side. There. It's weird. I have to. And look now you're over like, here. Well, for everybody at home, you know, I'm in my same, spot. Same spot. <laughs> same, same. Looks the same. My camera died. All the same. Yeah, right. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, All we're we're off to a sensational one. I'm back in back in SA, which mm-hmm. is good. Back here. I think I was I was actually on a plane while you guys. No, I was because I started watching the episode and then like I have to put your phones in a airplane mode. I'm like, mm. that's probably for the better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you didn't miss anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> turns out. Turns out I did. Oh, well, Flushy, you, you've upset some people, uh, but not intentionally. No, it wasn't. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> I, was like, I watched it again and like, <laughs> I I paused and went, oh, hang on, I've got to get this right. And then chose some ter- <laughs> a terrible way of further digging my own hole. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least you committed. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, if you're going to do something, you do it properly, right? I mean, you know, that's <laughs> yeah. how it works. Yeah. So um, you're talking about the NRL scoring and, and look, I learned some stuff out of it because I'd never actually delved into it. Yeah. Mm. And I, I always thought, incorrectly it seems, that you would shoot, you know, I don't even know how many points are available, but like, let's say there's 100 points available mm. and you would shoot and get 80. doesn't matter what you scored compared to the people around you, you would get 80 points on the world stage. Turns out I was wrong in in that thought, and, and the point you brought up is that it is leveled against to everyone that you shoot against is correct. Yeah, mm. Mm. which which means the points you the the point you were going for maybe didn't completely convey, <laughs> but the point you were going for is is a fair point to bring up. Yeah. Um, uh, but it also yeah it can go either way. It's it's a challenging thing because how how else do you balance a worldwide run comp? Yeah, correct. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> the format, the format's a good format. Mm. Um, but it's, it's. I think that was one of the things we talked about. It's different. Yeah. So it brings a different, a different mix to the, yeah. to the party or to the to the match or whatever you want to call it. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to offend anybody. Mm. Um, pick up the phone if you want to talk to me. <laughs> Absolutely. I know. I know you. You spoke to some people and uh, and just to make sure it was all okay. And yeah, yeah. certainly uh, not not here for division. We're here to support things. Um, yeah, correct. But yeah, you know, uh, hey, look, we we are this while we edit this podcast. It doesn't get a whole lot of editing, does it, Josh? <laughs> AI yeah, does it. <laughs> so it doesn't. It it goes out pretty much live. So that is uh, that is the way it is. So anyway, good. Hopefully we can uh, we can carry on. We Andy, can move on if, from that. Who have you? Another news. I'm not back next week. So no, <laughs> nice to see you all. In fact, you're done. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fun. You can I'm go now. now. <laughs> it's a strike one. <laughs> Very good. Now, gentlemen, uh, Capital Clash is yes. the, the match we need to talk about. You both shot it. We did. S- some better than others. Um, now, <laughs> yep. some some predictions were made. We'll jump into these first because I obviously didn't make any predictions, so I had my off week uh, that particular week. Um, had your done that. I can't mm. see who it is. Yeah, had my buy. Uh, Josh, Josh, you predicted Aaron in first place. Uh, come on, Aaron. <laughs> uh, Ash in. No, oh, we didn't do second and third, but Ash in the top. Uh, the top there, and Guy as well. Ash did finish mm. second, actually. So I've got a, I've got a question to ask all of you, gentlemen, because we've been refining this the way we do this scoring every week, mm. right? And we had it set up that we get one point for the right person in the top three. You get two points if you pick the winner. And you get six points if you get uh, all three in order. Ooh, right. No one's got six points in this stage. 
what I uh, had thought about is whether or not we're actually saying it. We've done, we've said it in this way. You pick one, two, and three in your given order. Mm. You get one point if you got the right person in the wrong order, but you get two points if you get the right person in the right place. I, and I, then eight points if you nail the top three. And I think you should get 10 points if you can back no. yourself in the position that you finish in. <laughs> You've got to throw it out there. <laughs> That's but a challenge. We should start picking last, and wow. then I'll yeah, go yeah. on a few matches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, what do you guys think of that thought of tweaking the format? Sure, uh, it does have some implications. Oh no, which I'm aware of. Yeah. Previous things. Here we go. It does I, change previous I, or current scores. Although I, we've never actually talked about where we're sitting, I've only actually spent the time this afternoon to do it. <laughs> so before I announce and, and tell you guys where you're up to, because it does actually affect this match oh, we're wow. talking about. I want you guys to make a decision. Uh, are we going to do top three as in one, two, three and work out that 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 position in that order and give two points if you get the right person in the right position? Let's do that because I feel like I went terrible and this is a better opportunity to go well. Yeah, it does mean that we <laughs> Fair could, enough. you run yes, some yeah. – yep. So Andy, you in Whatever. for that? Yeah, yeah. Great. All right. So for those tracking at home, one point for the right person in the wrong place. Two points for the right person in the right place. Eight points if you pick the top three in order. What about the person that finishes 15th? Um, That's 15 points. They're not really <laughs> relevant to the discussion, Andy. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. In that case, That's I do consistent. have one, one score to change actually here. Um, two times or three times? Twice. It's only twice. It's all right. Josh, you picked Aaron uh, in first place. No points for that. Ash in second place. Two points for that because he did hey, come second. I'll and then that. Guy uh, no, didn't, didn't uh, place in top three. Andy, you picked uh, Dan Hennessy in first place. Unfortunately, he didn't. You picked Lucas in second. Mm. What were you thinking? Uh, so you get one point for that. And you picked Ash in third. Right, if you one. bumped everyone around, you would have ended up with four points. But no, oh, well. you got two. Uh, and Plushy, uh, you picked Sean. For first place, nope, didn't you didn't help me out there. Sean. Didn't help you out. Uh, you also picked Lucas and Ash in second and third, so you get two points for that one there. Uh, so that will bring our scores to now. This does actually need one little change because um, that will put Andy on seven points, leading the pack. Oh, here we go. Josh on five points. And plus, you and I tied on three. Ooh, we're going to have to lift our game. We Jeez. are going <coughs> to have to lift our game. So, or the shooters we pick are going to have to lift yeah. their game. I <laughs> think picking Lucas <laughs> for the rest of the year, basically. Uh, so, we will get into the bucking predictions later in the episode, gentlemen. The All Capital right. Clash. How was it as an overall match, uh, Andy? It was a good match. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as true to Canberra being um, nice and cold in the mornings. <laughs> Not just the mornings. It was. <laughs> it, was. it was. Pretty we fired fresh. Up the gas. We fired up the gas heaters this year. Yeah, right. Oh, we okay. did, didn't we? Yeah, they yeah, had yeah. gas bottles in this year, so we turned them on. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a thing that you can do. Well, just standing you still can light them too. Yeah. So it worked out really well, yeah. Yeah. Being, being uh, yeah, cold as normal and we were all huddling around the gas heaters. Um, match went pretty well, I think. <laughs> okay. Huddling. Well, I didn't get no huddles from you. <laughs> no, the heater did. Huddles, that. not cuddles. Huddle. From, <laughs> were you guys in the same squad? Uh, yeah, Actually, we just had a club match basically. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. all of South Australia got thrown in one squad, apart from about three people that got randomly splattered. They're yeah. trying to segregate elsewhere. you guys away. Yeah. Yeah. No, we've, was, we've been causing trouble. It was pretty cool. It was mm. good. So, course of fire. How how was course of fire? Plushy. Really good. good. Um, <clears throat> it was Rob and Triss's first uh, national match. Good. And they had Second, a goal as a, a back to back first time national match runners. Yes, which is great. Um, mm. They had a goal that they wanted it to be. Um, not simple, but straightforward mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and run well, flow well, all of those sorts of things. Yep. And they absolutely nailed it. Yeah, yep. there was yep. awesome. It was, yeah, everybody was. I mean, Tristan's so been to nearly every match there. So. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so yeah. good good on him. Yeah, yeah to actually he brings step some up experience to the table. Yeah. Mm. But no, they, they, they set their goals and they absolutely nailed it. So yeah. like, hats off to you guys. You did really, really well. Yep. Which Rob was? Uh, Summers. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, cool. No, yep. He's been to a few as well. He's yeah, done yeah. a few now. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Andy, your take? That, that was definitely one of the things I noticed how timely the match just moved on. Everything was smooth. There weren't any big hiccups. Um, I think, what, two or three target failures. A lot, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just ran really well. The target sizes were were good. They were worried they'd be too small because we were expecting Too small them. for you. They were. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just checking. They, they were worried they were going to like get a lot of rain and a lot of wind. Yeah, um, okay. But it sort of held off a bit. It wasn't too bad. Like. I think they were expecting the wind to be bad on Sunday, but it yeah. ended up coming forward and being worse on Saturday and relatively calm on Sunday. So mm -hmm. 
Yep. Sunday targets were a bit more generous than the, the yep. Saturday. So. Made no difference for me, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those, it was a bit like, if I'm, I think it's similar to last year, like you didn't mm. hold off the plate by more than a tenth or two. It was mostly on the plate. Yep. But then you get these gusts of wind that were just true. You blow yep. six tenths off the plate or something like that. Or yeah, yep. the wind looks like it's going from that way and you missed off the other side. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, wow, there's this yeah. little local bit of wind up there that you hadn't seen I think, before. I think it definitely picked up and dropped off as, as always. There's some people holding point out, point eight out the back. Um, mm. Most of the time, I think I got to point five, but yeah, it, um, most of the time it was edge of plate. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Yeah. I think they, yeah, they didn't have, like, I don't think as a club they've got tons of targets yet. They're still okay. a pretty new yep. club. Um, but They'd so there was like three, two, three, four targets on a lot of stages was yep. probably, probably the average. Yep. Um, so in terms of that, a lot of like near far and far middle near and, you know, a bit of a mixture of that sort of stuff. Yep. But it was, it was good. It was just, everything was done well. It was well thought out. Yeah. Yeah. Like you mentioned there that weren't a lot of targets out in the field, mm-hmm. but the way that they ran their stages and repeated targets that were already out there meant their setup time yep. was, was so quick. Um, and you'd already had data for a lot of the targets. Okay. Um, but, yeah, so they made really good use of the targets that they had. Brilliant. Um, a little bit like yeah. it, it, was almost, it was almost an old school match. Mm. From the target point of from view. From the target point of view, yeah, yeah. where yeah. you might – we didn't – I think we rotated one through four. Was it four squads? Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. One through four and then went back and went one through four again. Mm-hmm. Um, so you used the same targets twice, but you didn't use them back to back like we used to a fair bit. Yep. yep. So yep. they used that one stage rotation, which also sort of mixed it up. So the time you got back there, you're like, oh yeah, these again. Everything's kind of, yeah, yeah, same target. Diff- them, rather than doing one stage, you're like, ah, same targets again. And, th- and that's so, good because yeah. your conditions change as well. Probably yep. evens it all out a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was good. Barricades yeah. were good. Yeah. Um, sturdy barricades. <clears throat> yep. Nothing was. Everything did what it was supposed to do. Yeah. I don't think there was any. No, it's just crazy. solid. Solid. Very match. good. Yeah. Highlight stages, we'll, we'll run through a couple. We may as well. We've got the uh, match book here. Is anything stand out to you, uh, Andy, of, of, of all the stages you do well on anything? I did very well on two of them. Hey, there we uh, go. They're the ones I practice the most, the two skills stages. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, we, 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 probably, we haven't delved into the, the two new, the stools, new, skills, the, the new skills stages yes. overly well. So let's let's use them as a, some examples and, and go into that because some changes have been made, which I know we've touched on before. Yeah. Um, so but and it, was, it was well overdue, and we'd certainly yep. asked the question many times over the last <laughs> couple of years of the US of when are these things changing because they are – they are now not as relevant to it's, the skill set. It's a speed race. It's not a precision race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So uh, they have been revised. Have we got what have you got? You've got. I think you've I got. Think, the, I think we have delved into them actually on maybe on episode. There's, yeah. So there's three. There's it's all off the one barricade. Yeah, all off the yep. same same skills two barricade as as before. Yep. Um, they've now made them all out of ten shots. So yep. the, you use the four original positions Just and you good, go back there was, to... There was one that was six shots, which yeah, was always messed with it. Didn't help with match flow. No, yep. not yep. at all. Um, well, actually, match flow was fine. It was just a um, yep. good way to burn 20 rounds when people also mm. missed something when they were they were hit to move unlimited rounds. Yep. Um, yeah, so you, got, you go back to one of your first three positions. So they've got a pretty much, I think, in Australia, unless we change the rules, we'll only be able to run two of them. Okay. Um, so there's a big small at um, 366 or whatever it is, 400 mm-hmm. yards. I think, and I think they've dropped it. Used to be a 10 inch. Uh, it did used to be. Round, 10 and now it's an eight inch and a six inch. Yeah, cool. So you get a big small each one. Yep. Um, and then you've got a near far. So you've got it at 400 yards and 500 yards, which is 366 and 451 or something like that meters. Mm-hmm. And I think that's an eight inch and an eight inch. Okay. I think. <clears throat> um, by no means now. Like before, it was just half the field or more would clean it. Yes. Yeah. Now, now you'll find maybe the top ten or fifteen people are given conditions. De- is very con- condition dependent of okay. cleaning it, and then it's yep. a separator. So now that's a clean so is way more important than mm. your time. Well, yep. I mean that that's how it was early days. Is like you know the amount of people that would clean it, not that many. Yeah. Uh, whereas you know last year you had majority of field would clean it. Yeah. Yeah. Without concern. <clears throat> yep. Mm. Okay, cool. So you did well yeah. on those, Andy. Yeah, I, I cleaned both of them. Um, practice, and practice, gentlemen, ladies yeah. and gentlemen watching, practice. Yeah. It's the only, helps. The only barricade I practice <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and ran them relatively quick as well. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I I knew that being a, like a close field up that top end, that I better push. And luckily, I didn't drop one. But yeah, I just made sure that every shot was a good clean shot. Yep. And I think the focus was, well, we watched a couple of videos, I think, on the Friday <laughs> night. <laughs> yep. Shout out to like MDT doing their, you know, <laughs> skill down. stage yep. barricade breakdown thing. Um, 
yeah, quite useful. And I sort of just was thinking about that a bit, but um, yeah, no, it definitely helps. Mm. Mm. Okay, very good. Plus, you anything stand out for you from a from a stage point of view? From skill stage or just from? Oh, stages? just general, just stages. Uh, yeah, yeah I, we've I, got important comments for Andy. Oh, Andy, okay, right. Andy, your phone and wallet are at home. Oh uh, yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, they have? Uh, while we're talking about comments, uh, Sean says one of my favorite shows of the week. Not sure that it says about me. <laughs> how many? How many? How many shows have you watched this week, buddy? Uh, well, this is his favorite, apparently. Yeah. So cool. Um, Thanks, uh, thanks, Sean. I appreciate honest, it. I, honestly, I appreciate it. I don't know about these guys, but Ooh. plus he probably wants to annoy you or offend you. should get Sean back on. Yeah. Sean was good. It's a different Sean. Oh, oh right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Still, uh, we should get you on. <laughs> Let's shut you yeah, boys up real still quick. get Sean on. <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting- <laughs> is it, is it Invite Sean if you're in Adelaide. Let us know. An interesting stage. Rooftop Troubles on day one. Mm-hmm. Um, it, was, it was an interesting tweak on how something fairly minor- can really impact the way that stage was run. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so you had the rooftop facing with the angle facing like downrange. Yep. Um, yep. And I think position one, you had to start, if you were right-handed, you start on the left, and if you were left-handed, you started on the right side. Mm-hmm. And then position one was right on the left-hand edge of the um, the ramp, and you had to go like near middle far or something like that. Um, but you weren't allowed to have any part of your body from the hips down on the ramp. Okay. So you could kind of so um, sort of bending over. You can use your elbow on the ramp. Yeah. It's because it's that, that's above your, your hip. Waist. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. It was in the Just clarifying. Description. Just clarifying. <laughs> um, I'm not sure we were confused, but I appreciate it, Andy. So yeah, and it was appreciate. you should run more stages. It was an interesting one. Like when you stood back and when you stood back and watched it, it was like, oh wow, like just making it so you could put one foot on there or something like that. Yeah. Would have made it the same for everybody because people that were like our height mm. could put our foot behind the ramp over like off to the side and shoot square behind the gun. Uh, and then yeah, uh, people okay. that were short yep. had to shoot like sort of squared over, you know, like off to the side and twisted and stuff. Mm. Right. And then, then you had to jump on. So heightism was at, was at all time large. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, We've seen that before at BRS matches. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the short people get like just shit on. Yeah. <laughs> Until there's a stage where you have to fit inside something. They yeah. don't complain about those stages yeah. funnily yeah. enough. Yeah. And then I think you jumped in the middle, which was, which was okay. Um, and then you had to go across to the the opposite side and do the same thing, so the tall people could put their feet behind. Now I've got I've got Halliwell related questions. Oh no! Um, so was it touching? Could you like put your knee on a bag and you were nope. fine? Okay, nope. so there was no support. Doesn't, doesn't matter what was okay. between your your lower body. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and then yeah, the last position you jumped into the middle, and one of them you had to do support side. Which was just a little oh, like, wow. which was just a little like challenge thrown in there. Yeah. Um, so most people just left it to the last shot because a lot of people weren't getting to the last shot. Yeah. Um, so I ran it. Um, I was lucky enough to get my feet behind and shoot shoot it right, and I'd gone clean nine from nine. Mm-hmm. And then I was just, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Ten thousand rounds. And then I was like, I looked at my watch and I'm like. I've got 20 seconds to take a support side shot or something like a, yeah, a yeah. D. I was like, oh no, I'm going to actually have to do this now. <laughs> and I jumped in the middle and I pulled a pre- I actually pulled a pretty good shot and I just dropped it off maybe a tenth off the edge of the target or something like that. It was a yep. it was a pretty tiny target, so I was okay. happy with the way I ran it. But yeah. it That's was a good in, stage. You, and then yeah. you look in the breakdown, everyone's like, it wasn't this like no no shade being thrown or anything like that. Got to be careful. Um, but it wasn't the no. It was kind of like depending on your height, you had a, an unfair advantage. Something Hang on, yeah. I'm have others. my stick ready for when you walk. <laughs> 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 just um, in case. I f- yeah, I feel yeah, like, like the tweak. I feel like the shorter you, people. You get. shot. You shot equal top score on that one on that stage. Plus, yeah, yeah. You and uh, and Stuart Griffith got uh, nine points. Yeah, only two to nice. do so. Yeah, okay. No wonder you enjoyed it. Yeah, mm. I, I think I feel like the the intention was possibly that going down the bottom to see if all the short people were down. There. <laughs> I was going to say that. But <laughs> well, it's sort of <laughs> I sort of I sort of guess that the like say if you're right handed over on the left hand the right hand side of the barricade, if you were shorter, you might had to go support side because mm. you couldn't like we we could get behind it and get square up, but you couldn't if you're if you're shorter. But um, okay, yeah, yeah, we talked about that because we're like, oh, well, you could. You could do that, but then you'd have to take, was it two or three? I can't remember, support side shots. And you're like, yep. nah, I don't know. Cause, yeah. mm. It's not It's not a clear, there's not a clear delineation on the results of like from this line below. <laughs> if you were less than 160 <laughs> centimetres, you did not go well. Yeah, they should have had one of those signs at the... Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, that was because the, the target at 491 was 120 millimetre diamond. 
Mm. So that's a pretty sporty diamond mm, at that distance. Okay. All right, very good. Yeah. Any other stages stood out to you, gentlemen, the uh, art school stages or that one? What else? I know there was one I did terribly at. Yeah, well, let's talk about that one. Was it tack table rear? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Actually, checking. there was two stages that I would like the opportunity to shoot again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What was um, what was the toughest stage that you didn't do well on? And was it because you're just crap, or was it because mostly? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, um, there was a rooftop stage where you had to put your bipod. We just uh, talked about that one. Yes, downstairs. Oh, it was a different. Uh, no, rooftop. it was it was left to right. Um, oh, okay. And you had to. There was like uh, timber strips down there to sort of catch the leg of your bipod or provide grip or whatever. Oh, is this where someone set up a position for you to be able to shoot with the bipod, but they, you didn't take it because you didn't realize? <laughs> well, I tried. I mean, I asked the squad next door. I'm like, "Hey, does does a cow work on this one?" They're like, yeah, yeah, it works perfectly fine. I'm like, "Okay, mm. cool." And what I didn't know was, well, I didn't just know. for those listening, you don't mean a cow. You mean a bipod. <laughs> 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 cow. C A L. C A L. Just the way you said it, like I trucked up with a cow. <laughs> Look at my barricade. Wow, stop. Pyrrhus, Pyrrhus gear has really changed since I left. Yeah, and then um, now got livestock as part of you, <laughs> as part of your kit. It said any equipment on the stage description. <laughs> How'd you get that on the plane? <laughs> uh, I drove. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, and then, so I went and asked, and they're like, yeah, it's all fine. I'm like, it's fine. I don't need to do anything. I'll be fine. I've got a sky pot in my bag, but apparently I don't need it. I'll be fine. Okay. And then Trent, in the meantime, walked up to me, and he's like, oh, man, I just got so burnt on that stage. I used my bipod and this, that, and it didn't work, and I had to flick leg forward, and I just completely stuffed it. He's like, don't do what I did. I'm like, no, I've got a plan. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. And then I put my cowl on there and the, I couldn't get the cowl. Again, a bipod, just to clarify. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the bipod cowl. Yeah. Um, it's a cow with two legs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's true. Um, Makes milking easier. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, I did that and then I had too much canty in there and I had to flick one of the legs forward and I just spent – it was a two-minute stage. Poor cow. And I spent all of my time – trying to get it organised and then I saw the stage officer. I'd only taken six shots. I was dropping into for the seventh and I saw the stage officer put the timer under, which is the universal sign for like... You're running out of time. You're running out of time. <laughs> I, looked at my, I looked at my watch and it ticked from three seconds to two seconds on my timer. I was like, ooh, we better get moving. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I looked down behind my gun and I was like, oh, it's on the target. Close bolt, bang, impact. And I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whew, that was lucky. And that that point actually stopped me finishing fourth. <laughs> Well, so, speaking, well, speaking wait, of wait, results. Wait, go back, go oh, sorry, back. Go back, it, it, go, go back. back. Okay. And then Tell went, the stories in order. And yeah. I was talking to Trent how I completely like stuffed that stage up. And he's like, that is exactly what I told you happened to me with a cow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I just didn't listen to what you had to say. <laughs> he's like, why not? I'm like, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> someone else said it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. People yeah. told you it was it was fine. Well, uh, yeah. speaking of results, mm. um, plushy. I mean, you either did really well or choked. You came third. I, I think I choked into a third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, because you were leading day one. I was. Yeah, yes. I was in that place. In that place, I don't like being. How mm. was that pressure after after leading day one? Did you feel it? I definitely. The, the thought crossed my mind. I was like, oh, I don't do this again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And so I was just like, yeah. I, I, um, I was like, you know what? All I can do is worry about today. Mm. I worry about today. There was a few people that were like, hey, so I'm like, I will punch you in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> has happened before. And it has happened before. Mm. And, uh, and they were like, okay, he means it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was, it wasn't too bad. I didn't really, it was only the last couple of stages where I was like, ooh, you're going yeah, right okay. here. Mm. Um, and yeah, he's but, in your ear going, I but I knew the, all day. the couple of the stages I had to go, I, I sort of, I knew they were tougher stages in the course of the day. Mm. So it wasn't like I was like, oh, these are cleanable stages. You know what I mean? You're like looking to be like trying to manage how many points you drop mm. on the last couple. And I dropped a few. Is that because you focused on how many points you dropped rather than trying to hit some? Mm. Not really. I think the no, you're I, just not the, very good. The equip, yeah, basically the equipment choice or the the, the using the cow instead of a instead of a yeah. a sky pod. Uh, so it's gone from tack table rear to using a cow. Yeah, using my regular bipod. Yeah. Well, I know what the podcast episode is going to be called now. <laughs> Tacti <laughs> tactical cow. Using a cow. Tactical cow. <laughs> tactical uh, cow. Um, uh, right. Yeah, I did that, and then the 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 edge hit that wasn't an edge hit that we uh, that we discussed mm -hmm. earlier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely post. There was a story. It's all post. There was a story. It was a very and good Andy, wing call is what I hear. Andy, you um you didn't uh, I'm consistent. Consistently not great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um look at me throwing shade and I haven't even picked up a gun this yeah. year. <laughs> uh we'll go fifteenth is the new sixth. Fifteenth is the new sixth. So what happened to yeah. you? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> still, still pondering some of life's choices. Uh, yeah, lead up to that match, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh well, well, we, sorry, we it's did mention three, but uh, uh, mm. Ash Porn in, in second. Well tied, done, well, he was tied with Lucas on tied points, Lucas and Lucas got him on. Lucas got him on tiebreakers oh. on skills. Yeah, by about the second half. Oh, Important story we should cover. Okay. Um, oh, okay. That, Let's just move well, on from Andy then. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's all right. And yeah, we'll, we'll get yeah, into the we should, story. We should move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I think you should move on, Andy. I'm so just screwing you up inside. <laughs> well, Lucas and Ash were both tied on nine match wins coming into that match. Oh, from, a, from an overall from point an of overall, view? From an overall, yeah, for yeah, right. uh, overall series. Well, not series, this series, overall. From PRS, overall in yeah. PRS. Um, yeah, okay. And, yeah, and then Lucas picked up the 10th win, but they mm-hmm. were tied on points going in. So <sighs> yeah, that was, right. it was very tight. Mm. Mm, okay. Very, very tight. Ten wins. Yeah, that's pretty Ten. impressive feat. Mm. Out of, what, what has there been, about 30 matches now? Uh, yeah, well, I got uh, told that my number was incorrect. Oh, wow. Did you hear about this? No. Uh, at no. The, so at the finale uh, last year, one of the things that, that we, we did like a, a, you know, while we're waiting for everyone to get ready, I did some giveaways and that sort of gear. One of the questions I posed oh. was how many PRS matches has there been All right, in, in Australia? Now, I don't remember the exact number, right, but we'll go with 32 because I think that's right or it's close to it. Anyway, I said, and so people were yelling out numbers. No, no, sorry, I went with 33. And people, one of them being Aaron, was yelling out 32. I'm like, no, it's not right. And then someone, I guess, just added one, yelled out 33, and I gave them the prize. Didn't think of anything of it. Later that evening... I was presented with this uh, oh, amazing yes. thing that you drove over. This amazing sort of uh, uh, some memorabilia of uh, some photos of me and 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 signatures from um, you know messages from amazing people in the community, which is, sits in my office now. And um, yeah, you didn't write on it, Andy. No, no, I didn't get that. Well, they they. <laughs> I see made, all the time. They made sure they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> didn't let you near it. it. Can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't crayons available. I'd still be trying to work out what it is. Yeah, he, well, he yeah. had crayons. He just ate them. Yeah. Um, and so, and Aaron's, they came up to me afterwards, like after he presented and stuff, and we're looking at it. And he's like, yeah, there's only been 32 matches. And I'm like, looked at it. I'm like, you're missing Delta Tactical from 2021 or whatever, yeah, 2022 or whatever it is. I'm like, you're missing that match. He's like... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so there's one one match not listed on that. Because <laughs> oh, he no. had like a, the initials of each match from each year yeah. from there, but he missed one. So his number was, uh, was <laughs> wrong and um, yeah, from all the matches. So so that's, uh, yeah, where do we, a couple more matches from that. So around 35, 36. Mm. Um, so between the two of them, there's yeah. 19 of almost mm. half. Mm. It's not a good. bad ratio. More than half. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. not almost. Yeah, yeah, more, yeah, more, more than well, half. more than half. Yeah, and nearly, nearly a third for one for one person. So, okay, well, that's good. Mm. There we go. Anyway, was that was that all you you in the same? That's all I had. You can go back to talking to Andy. No, 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 no. one's listening to him. He came fifteenth. Yeah. <laughs> Don't listen to me. So, it's so not what working. Did, what did you do between? See, this? see, here's the difference. Plus, you, I offend people on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I, th- I think I've misunderstood the term on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, now I've got it. I've got it now. Okay. And yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so what did you do between matches to, uh, to, to not go any different? Nothing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was planning. Read wrong yeah, yeah. I was yeah. planning on doing heaps of practice Actually, and dry you fire. Would, and, yeah, you admitted just, before that you didn't deserve to do as well as you did in well, this I match. Just, well, I said plainly, I had no business placing in that match. I had no business leading overnight. Because where did you come, come in the, what was the match before? Sydney match? Terribly. <laughs> it was thirteenth or something, yep. yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, down near yeah. us, down near I, me. I, I went, I went back from Sydney and pondered my life choices and put my gun in the safe. Yep. And then on the way to Canberra, I pulled my gun out of the safe and put it in my rifle case. <laughs> and went, oh, what, what, what could go wrong? <laughs> let's, let's see what happens here. Um, yeah, no, did nothing. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it was. I don't know. It was weird. I was just like, I've actually remembered. I changed. I did that thing. You know how I like change all my gear all the time. Mm. Well, not all the time at the start of the season, but yep. I, I don't do it in you just practice. Rip everything apart. Yeah. No, yeah. Just so I, I'm actually starting to gel with all of the, the ha- changes. That are I've you made. running a KRG now? Because that's the only right look uh, chassis I mean, that has that has won a match this year. Huh. No. Oh, well, when are you going to start? Because obviously you won't be. I'm just going to break the mold. That's easier. <laughs> 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 I've met you before. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. It's all the, all I've the got gear. a KRG if you want to borrow one. Mm, I'm thinking about so, getting one. I'm not might be slightly colourful. Yeah. <laughs> Landed. Um, yeah. No, I think I'm gelling with the gelling with the equipment now. Okay. The new scope. I'm seeing way more. It was like looking back 
four or five years ago before my eyes started going south, mm -hmm. seeing on the plate where I was hitting. It was like, instead of just being, oh, that was an impact. Cool. Ooh, hang on. They hit on the right edge. Okay. <laughs> we need to add some wind. Yeah. Um, made it a lot easier to make corrections and stay on the plate. Okay. <clears throat> so, that must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> You should try. You should try staying the, on the plate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should try the Z color. I heard they're really good at that. Oh right. You see, okay. no, um, I think it's just more my eyes. I've got to start wearing glasses more now. Well, I don't <laughs> shoot with my glasses on. Maybe I should try shooting with my glasses on. Maybe hmm. you might be able. To, yeah, maybe hmm. try that. Okay. Hey, plus you didn't. You choke and come third. Maybe uh, you should try. Your I, choked, I choked. <laughs> in, I choked into third. Come choked, on, choked your way into third. Well, no, I went and got my eyes tested last not last week, week before, and got some new glasses. And my eye prescription hasn't changed for nearly two years, which means laser surgery is a possibility now. Oh, okay. Is that a mm. thing that that if you don't, if your eyes don't change for a period of time? Yes, they need to wait. Apparently, you need to wait until the prescription stops changing. Yeah, that freaks oh, me out. Okay. Um, I'd be too curious to look around. I'm sort of. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm and ahhing whether I get it done before America or not. Okay. Um. We've it got should some. be fine. Why not just change up your eyes before a big match? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, yeah, but if it changes my eyes so I can see better, I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Um, so we'll see. Hmm. Now, I was listening back to last uh, last episode. Oh, why would you do that? I, well, because I was trying to work out how many no, people you offended. You <laughs> <laughs> must have been really bored. Uh, and uh, and I don't know why you guys didn't pick up on it, but I, I got to understand um, Plushy's reloading process a little bit more in depth. Um, so I'll play, I'll play a clip. <laughs> see them so you kind of it's, it's not working throw the powder and then I, I get a bit ahead but I see them so you kind of so that's a different step that I don't normally advertise as part of the reloading process just <laughs> just in case you missed it what do you throw the powder and then I, I get a bit ahead but I see them so you kind of <laughs> So, if you guys are looking to improve and come third in matches, I mean, how else do you enjoy your reload? <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, right. Uh, well, the next match. Mm. Uh, speaking of uh, getting a bit ahead, Bucken mm -hmm. uh, is the next match in mm. beautiful Eastern Far Eastern Gippsland. Gips, is it, what's Gipsland? it called? Yeah. Yeah. Far yep. Far East. Is it high country? No, it's not really it's high, high country. country. It's basically yeah, high country. Yeah, snow. It's yeah. High country. <laughs> it's snow there. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, one of the, uh, certainly one of the most sought after mm. spots in a match uh, throughout the year because it's pretty limited space. The, the mm. match is, the range is tiny. It's only about 23, 25 metres wide. Yep. Plus he uh, shocked us all previously saying, oh, there are four squads. No, no. No, there was. I was wrong. There's three squads <laughs> because Again. you can't yeah. fit four squads. Yeah, don't Unless offend they them. they took down a lot of trees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to take down a lot of trees. You're right. One of the uh, the most pristine, amazing. You, Josh, yep. one of your favourite matches because to take photos at it, it looks it's just phenomenal. amazing. It's even yeah. better when it rains. True, true for, for me. For, for, for <laughs> us. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, it's one of those matches where you're a little bit isolated from from everything. So there's one place to have a drink and have a food. Mm -hmm. So everyone's there. Mm. Um, plus, she's leaving. All right. Well, he's, he's out. Someone's got the heater on. It's getting so cold. It's that they're talking about Buck and he's got to take his jumper off or yeah. pants off. I'm not. Is this part of your reloading process? Yes. <laughs> You're not reloading, mate. Put it yeah. away. You're getting worried. <laughs> I'm to get concerned. He's just don't, talking don't about Buck and he's. Don't worry, I'm loading. <laughs> um, yeah, and everyone ends up at the same pub. This is, yeah. this is truly has always been one of my favourite matches of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, the range is, is a um, is not as has the expanse of some ranges that we have shot on and mm -hmm. the distance and stuff, but just for the atmosphere that you're in and the feel you're in this. Uh, often it's wet. Often it's <coughs> um, windy. We've had forty degree days. There were thirty eight degree days there mm -hmm. for, for matches before. We've had everything, but you're you're all around the fire. I love all the game changers lying around the fire, <laughs> drying out. <laughs> <laughs> People have yep. thrown them in the mud or done something with them. Uh, and then you go back to the accommodation, have a shower and wander over the pub. And yep. it's, uh, it's it's a fantastic weekend. It's a simple life. Mm. It'll be really interesting because I think the – as as people have started taking PRS more seriously the last couple of years, the, mm. the social the social side of it's died off a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but people still go out for dinner and stuff, um, but not not the drink until 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> 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 go back, get a couple of hours sleep and go shoot mm. sort of thing. Um, and it's kind of everyone sort of goes their own way and, you know, does what they need to do for the next day and stuff. But I think Buckin's that place that still sort of – Still yep. holds yep. it. Well, yeah. it's got a, it's you got can't that, get away from it. It's yeah. got that captivity because you've got yeah. one place to go so everyone ends up at the same place. Yeah, that's mm. right. Uh, and it's all, you know, if you're staying in Buckin, which most most do, you, you're all walking distance from everywhere, yeah. mm. uh, from everyone. And, and so, yeah, it certainly, certainly held true to that. It certainly did have some of the – 
earlier stories of uh, early <laughs> days in the series. But yeah, there were some uh, pretty there were some pretty good stories came out yeah, of those first pretty, couple and matches. still, yeah, last year was not uh, no slouch, was it, Josh? Uh, the drive back well, kind of sucked <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I definitely um, drove that one. <laughs> the wrong time I'm, to go the twisty oh, way. <laughs> I've oh, been for right. a bit. I reckon mm. it's been. I reckon I haven't been since mm. before COVID. Oh really? Yeah, same. I think I've only I think been twice, and that was very early on. Yeah, right. Yeah, I uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the the year that Josh and I went, and there was no match. I was about to say we went during COVID. <laughs> during COVID. COVID, I remember that trip. we went into <laughs> lockdown on the Thursday night, just uh, after we'd set up all the target frames, and mm. then went to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, we drove to with somebody else's corporate credit card. <laughs> Thanking you. <laughs> um, we had a great night. Where did we go? We got to. Ballarat. Oh, yeah, you boys were on the way over. Oh, yeah, and then we was, were messaging yeah. back and forth like, it was like hey, it's getting worse. Oh, it's just Melbourne. Yeah. It'll be fine. Like we can make this work. And then it was like all of Victoria is getting locked down. <laughs> now you guys <laughs> were out before then. Yeah, because uh, we heard it was going into lockdown, so we turned for the we, turned for we the went over. Yeah, we we got to Buck and set up, and then they they made that announcement. We actually stopped setting up targets because like oh, let's see how this goes. And they made the announcement that Melbourne was going into lockdown. And we're like, oh, cool. Well, we'll we'll hang here. I remember making that decision, Josh. We're like, oh, we'll stay here for a couple of days because Buchan's beautiful. And I had been there so many times and never really explored the place. Like, oh, we'll stay here. And then, of course, we stayed for an extra night. And then on the drive back, about an hour and a half from the border, whole of Victoria lockdown. Yeah. And and it was it was it was the first time they'd they'd done it retroactively. Yep. So you didn't have like a three hour yep. or eight hour dash to be able to get out. It was like if you've been here last night, that's it. Mm. You're it done. Like, didn't we miss the border? But it was something like forty five minutes. Yeah, it was. It was, the <laughs> it was great. So you're almost you were almost in the line. We we're almost there. We we're almost so there. I reckon. I don't know. Did I go seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, something like that? Um, and then there was no seventeen. Was there no seventeen? Or was there two and eighteen? There was two in 18. You, you bang on. The finale was in 18. Right. It was there. there. Yep. That was the day where one day, I think the first day of the finale, it was pissing down in rain. The next day was 38 degrees. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doing yeah. bucking things. I reckon. Because we chose, <laughs> we chose bucking as the finale because, like, oh, well, at least it's going to, like, you know, the finale was, like, December or mid-December that year. Mm. We're like, oh, we'll choose Bucking because it'd be cooler than everywhere else. <laughs> so we'll be, we'll be okay. Nope. <laughs> yeah. See so either rain or, what is it, the moon dust? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it gets everywhere. Oh, yeah, that was horrible. I reckon I've had three trips to Buck and Cancel because of COVID. So that trip. Three trips. I reckon. So that trip, we got turned around because of COVID. That was 21, yeah. The following year, I caught COVID. Oh, you did. The, the <laughs> day before. That's right. And then, yeah. and that, was, that wasn't just a Buck and uh PRS match, I'd also planned for a week of hunting, of Samba hunting. Oh, yes. As well. So I had to can that. And yep. then That's right. The Samba got COVID as well, so we took the week off. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. Just to make you feel better. And then the following year, mm-hmm. same again. Booked a week long oh. hunting trip <laughs> and uh <coughs> got COVID the week of or something like that. <laughs> and uh maybe it was the wife got COVID, one of those. And I couldn't think, go because I of COVID. Th- I didn't reckon it was you, I reckon the family th- got COVID. Well, yeah. I think well I've had it a few times and I'm I'm that guy that walks around Infecting everybody that doesn't get sick. Gotcha. <laughs> so it's like, no, I don't have it. Oh, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out. Yeah. And now we yeah. just don't even test. It's easier. <laughs> <laughs> Common cold. Uh, yeah. Fair enough. Um, so one day I'll okay. get back there. Mm. Okay. One day. Yeah. One day. Andy, what's your bucking experience? Oh, it's been I really mean, good. You came I think. 15th, so not a lot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mid park. I can't, can't remember where I was. Got back in the day. I think it was. So do anyone who came 16th. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's got to rib the guy. Um, I think it was. Mr. Sixth place. 2018 or 19 that I went. Okay. I think 2018. You You've only been positions? once. Since or the years that you went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I've only been once. Okay. And it was back when there was something about a cat in the microwave. Oh, or oh wow. Or something. <laughs> that would have been 2019 if you right. had the stories about it. Yes. Yes. That's not a lot. Not a real cat. It's a very popular house. Yeah. Well, it's not a real cat now. You're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Josh. But, uh, yeah, they, they were great times. They were. Mm. Your first experience with Buckham was our COVID year, wasn't it? It was. That was great. Mm. <laughs> it was a great time. <laughs> That's the weekend that I managed to spill an entire coffee over my laptop. Ooh. That's right. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you have issues with your keyboard after that? <laughs> and then had to buy a new laptop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turns out that laptop I spilled coffee all over. 
We've been using it as a home computer for the last five years. It's been great. <laughs> just, go, just go faster? <laughs> I mean, it goes, does for about two hours and then it drops <laughs> off a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah. was it? I remember hearing a story about a table at the pub. Was that table was that the first pub. year? You can talk well, about that. Well, I mean, it's you been can, long enough you now. The statute of limitations is gone. I'm sure I've talked about it on this podcast. <laughs> you may have. I am definitely sure. <laughs> and it wasn't one table. It was two tables. <laughs> we had a bit of a tradition that we would break a table in the pub uh, when we were there. Not, not intentionally. So they used to have these tables. Said used to, because they don't have them anymore. Because you broke them. Yeah. Because we broke them all, um, where they would uh, extend out, right? And so, but the extensions on them were fine to sit at and have dinner, not fine to sit on. <laughs> Guess what? Somebody did <laughs> twice. <laughs> um, and I remember, you know, going up to the owner at the time, Bricky, and being like, hey, man, really sorry. One of the guys has sat on the table and busted. I think they were leaning on it, and, and that because it's obviously weak because the extension that they lent on it and it busted. And I remember he was just playing, like, oh, it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. <laughs> like, you guys spent that much money this weekend yeah, over yeah. the bar. Doubled, it's, it's fine. Doubled the population of the town for <laughs> yeah. three nights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't think that's actually a lie, is it? The, these were the nights where certain people got mm. dropped home by the uh by the public. <laughs> 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 Not nights they would then shoot the next morning, just to clarify. But mm. yeah, like the Thursday night was always a big one and the Sunday night was always a big one. Buckham was the one match you never wanted to exit the match. You know, not often you're like, oh, if I leave on Sunday like late, or I might yeah. be able to get home or start the drip home. Buckham was not the match you wanted to do that. Yeah. You'd leave on the Monday. Mm. Yeah. That's, uh, that was always always good. But there's going to be a match there this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard. Yeah. Wow. Apparently. Who'd have thought? I was going to go for Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> someone did that last year. <laughs> yeah. It's only a short, like, 15-hour drive. From here. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's good yeah. on the way back. We went through Hotham last year. Yeah, it right. did. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's actually not that far away. It's not that far away. Apart from feeling sick, it was beautiful. It's great. It's great for me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we had a theory. This is was this during COVID or before COVID that we were thinking about how to get the numbers up at Buckingham because obviously it's so and do a snow trip. So limited. Yeah, we're like, well, you're gonna we got well. Well, my suggestion was you do back to back Buckingham weekends, and then you can we had shoot one back to back Buckingham. Weekends. Yeah, you can shoot one and know, RO one. Do you and know then why go skiing or we looked at Buckingham back to back Buckingham weekends? Because we were going to run two matches, one of which being a, f- a 100% fundraiser. Mm-hmm. Because in no one remembers, but beginning of 2020, they had massive Fire, fires through yeah, there. Yeah, heaps got wiped out, yeah. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, this area. Like we, we, and we had sort of worked out, oh, maybe we'll do two matches back to back. One match will basically pay for the two matches to run. And then we can use a second match and, and basically donate that yeah. all to the hmm. community. And that was the what you talked about, and and uh, and sort of you a lot of yeah. We were hoping a bunch of people would take the week off, come and shoot one match, an RO one match, yeah. And they were going to be different matches, like different courses of fire. So there's no real advantage, but they were going to be like if you entered one, you couldn't enter the other. Yep. Um. So yeah, I guess a bit of a, an unusual one. And of course, then a couple of months later, COVID kicked in, mm-hmm. and the world forgot about the fires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, really, yeah, and they they did struggle for a long time. But um, and then we talked about doing like a snow snow, snow trip, trip or a hunting trip. There's so many things you can do around Buchan. Oh, it's a beautiful spot. Mm. Yeah, it is. It's a and nice yeah, part of the world. If you want to go down, spend time by the water. Lakes entrance, not far well, away. Yeah, that's is, right. Yeah, there's it's a yeah. couple of hours in any direction. There's something to do. Here we are. I mean, the match is probably sold out, but here we are plugging it on. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, get I on. There was, I think there was one ticket available when I saw the other night. <laughs> Some, oh, no, really? I think somebody couldn't go. <laughs> And they posted on posted on Facebook that uh, their spot was available. I didn't see any takers. It could be gone now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me that one's gone. I'm sure that's yeah. gone. And yeah. I'd, I'd think so. That's all right. So the, the, the match this weekend, we should uh, we should talk about it. Aaron uh, Hyde is uh, jumping up as match director. Yeah. Who um, certainly was part of the duo with him and Ash uh, last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Minato really stepped up the game with a lot of matches and set mm-hmm. the bar. So expecting good things from Aaron. I think yeah. so. No hey, pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. Now, uh, plus you know, you've worked as an advisor on the course of fire for this year with Aaron. Yeah, I had a read the other night. Looks uh, looks yeah. pretty good. Oh, so we can all blame you. <laughs> it's a stage is <laughs> crappy. Well, you you can't because you're not going to be But the people at Bucking can I, get back. I advised. I didn't write. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> advised on it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, I think it'll be good. Yeah. No, it's always hard when you read. Uh, you get a matchbook. 
and you're like, you read it, you know, that looks pretty good. And then you see the barricade and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like you see, it's, yeah, always, it's always a bit challenging to, you know, like that looks, that looks great. Or like, yeah. you're like, oh, what about these things? And you're like, oh no, the barricade's going to be like this and it'll be okay. And so it's, it's always hard. Yeah. And it, it is tough writing and fucking up until last year has, has been this way where you're writing a match for a range that you can't get to. Yeah, so you've done this with Muldura where uh -huh. you wrote a match and then got there and went, oh, I've got to rewrite half of it. Yeah. Um, we got to make some significant tweaks. And Bucken has been that place for many years. Obviously, the guys locally, it, I'm sure, supporting this year and, and definitely did run it last year. Uh, yeah, but it, it is it is far more challenging when you are far away and you get there and this doesn't work and you thought this was the case and then you realise from that position you can't see that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it makes it challenging. So, yeah, I'm sure Aaron will get over there and make some tweaks accordingly. Hopefully, mm. hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes well. Yeah, it can be it, well. Yeah, talking from experience, it can be tough rocking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you get there and you <coughs> put the target in, and you're like, "Oh, hang on, this is not what I imagined." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, yeah, we'll see. Do we know what the uh, weather's looking like? I mean, it's bucking. It's so cold, wet, cold and stormy, wet. and hot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cold, <laughs> stormy, and hot. Fair I enough. Think that, I think Fair there's enough. rain forecast for Sunday. Okay, but apart from that, it's been pretty dry. Pretty nice. Yep. Yeah, that's back in the the. I mean, the, we've had plenty of mud matches there. Yeah, and it's great to see when people just embrace it and they just <laughs> like, all right, well, I'm I'm going to be muddy after this stage, and this yeah. is the first stage of the day, so that's the way it's going to be. Yeah, so I, rem well, I, was, I remember a stage was it 2019? It wasn't muddy in 2019. That was the moon dust year. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that um, was the year I went then. Yeah, right. moon dust. Yeah. Um, and there was there were some creative stages where we had like a um, uh, I'd like cargo. to use the generous term creative stages. Yeah, creative <laughs> stages. We don't do these things anymore, but it was fun. <laughs> um, there was a cargo net that you had to climb you, under. Yeah, your rifle was in front, and you had to climb under and you know on elbows and elbows and knees, and through you go. Um, and the way that people approached it was kind of fun. People got hooked in the, the cargo net. Their, oh, because their, their, their mag holders got caught in the cargo a, net. It was a tripod stage. Yeah, you, you had to carry the tripod, tripod yeah. with you. Um, <laughs> I'll probably not forget this, and I don't think Tristan will either. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you he hasn't forgotten it. <laughs> he, he had a, a brand new uh, Really Right Stuff tripod, if I remember correctly. Mm. And he uh, he handed it to someone to, to use for the stage. And uh, they were they were pretty pretty active and pretty pretty um, pretty keen to get in there. So they used his brand new really right stuff tripod to, as Ooh. as the, the the support under their hands. And he looked a little bit sad after that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I have got a video of Birchie getting getting himself through that, and he got through it pretty quickly. Um, do, we does, might does he have a really right stuff tripod on his hand by any chance? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Bertie always had his own tripods. Yeah. Mm. So I don't think he borrowed Tristan's. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But I remember the one I had definitely got scuffed up, and, <laughs> uh, like a bent like knob <laughs> on it. And yeah, just. Do, do you know anything about scuffed up tripods, Josh? Don't know what you're talking about. No. No. <laughs> mm. Okay. Josh, never have you got a story to tell us? Of it. <laughs> uh, Josh did the same thing on mine, except he kicked it on the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> It's just he yeah, didn't have any hands, so he decided to, you don't have it to, to slide it across the concrete into the next stage. <laughs> into the next stage. Just, I'll be ready for the next stage to go <laughs> if I do this. Oh, wow. I was trying to, I'm, I'm, we might you needed to have the tripod within arm's reach. It was within arm's reach after I moved my foot with it. <laughs> I'll try and find this video of, of Birchie going, uh, going under the cargo net. He, he mm. got stuck into it, I think. Mm. But he may have done that hard. once or twice before. Maybe. Birchie went hard with it. It was impressive. But, um, was that the year of the the chair of, on the chain? Like the the I think that like was a, the year before. No, was that, that was finale. It was oh, finale, that was, was oh. it? So, so uh, I'm sure many people listening will be familiar with the wobble platform, where you have <laughs> the flat platform on chains, and so you get on it, and any movements you make are sort of uh, made more significant because you're on chains. You, you know, it's a floating platform designed mm. to sort of film uh, to to. Work the like same a, way, like a boat, sort of thing. like a boat or something yeah. on those lines. And so, uh, we had no, not we had Greg had <laughs> just to clarify, uh, made a chair <laughs> with the same principle where you were in this chair and the chair was unchained and would float, and there was a chain across the front of it so you could use that as your front rest, right? Mm. Well, these were wild days, remember I said in, creative, yeah, yeah, creative, back in yeah. 2017, 2018, that sort of thing. Uh, we were refining the art of stage mm. design. Mm. Big emphasis on the on the refining part, and uh, 
to freak everyone out because it, this is we would run a stage, we run the three stages, and then we would change all the stages. Uh, and so I'm still looking at this video uh, for anyone watching and wondering why I'm looking down at my phone while telling stories. Um, I'm still looking for this video. And so we would, uh, I think during the changeover, they, uh, Greg and the team, put the wobble chair on the wobble platform <laughs> and got in and grabbed a rifle or may have just <laughs> pretended just to sort of like show that this is what we were doing next. <laughs> Um, and people freaked, <laughs> proper freaked. Was that yep. the one where it was also supplied, like a supplied rifle in like three hundred wind mag or something like that that you had to use for that stage? Was it that one or was it? I, I'm not sure. I'm not also sure on that. I'm not sure whether it was. I don't think it was that stage. There was certainly back in the day stages where there was where it was rifles provided. Um, the the change we made pretty quickly was that. Any rifle provided to you as part of a stage or a shotgun or anything along those lines, the the shots taken with them weren't worth points. Yep. You were um, you weren't able just to do a throwaway shot. You had to at least attempt. And this goes back to the PRI days uh, prior to PRS, where there was there was a stage actually. I remember Lucas McKinney running extremely well, um, but you had. Uh, this was this was a fun stage. I don't know if you remember this, Andy. You would have, you would have been around for this. Or you would just have the prone on. and then the shotgun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so you would lay prone and there was a target of 400 and 800 and I think it was one point or two points. Back in the day, we could have multiple points to assign to a mm -hmm. target. And you got to choose if you're going 400 or 800, mm -hmm. back yourself, get more reward. But then once you're taking your shot, you would have to get up and shoot a clay from a clay thrower. So you'd press the, the foot button on the clay thrower and throw a clay out. And if you had... If you basically just pulled the trigger on it, right, that didn't count. You would have to reshoot it. You at least had to attempt to hit the target, right? Mm. Didn't have to hit it. There was no points awarded, but you would have to at least try. Mm. And I remember Lucas because Lucas's background, um, mm. there uh, certainly there is some shotgunning in his background, and he hit from memory. Memory's probably wrong. Every target. As well as every clay mm -hmm. in that stage. <coughs> he did win the comp. So yeah. um, <laughs> so he walked up to the clay throw and went, boof. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Shot, shot, sorry, yeah. All the targets in one go. <laughs> got them all. No. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, that was, uh, that was certainly uh, an, an element. And so, yeah, early on in PRS you had, um, you had a, like a given rifle um, and, and you had to, you know, that was part of your score and very quickly we worked out that that was probably – the idea was obviously diversity and break you away from your gun and do that sort of thing. So very quickly the points on those things were dropped. So, yes, you had to go and take a shot with a different gun, but it wasn't worth anything. You went and yeah. scored on that and then you would come back to your We gun. even had stages where there were – I remember there was three different – um, three different two two threes with three different lots yeah. of ammo. Oh, yeah. that's PRI days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You'd get unknown a, you'd data. Get, yeah, you would get unknown data. The rifle wasn't zeroed. Yep. <clears throat> you just get given a box of ammo, yeah. and, and you had a you had a, a partner spotting for you, and you yep. had to try yeah. and get on. Some people got on quickly. Other people didn't get any points. Yeah, yeah. yeah but no, that, that was, was it was good. It was good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was good that to was have fun. to have good partner, like good communication skills. That and is what yep. the entire yeah. thing. So this is this was back PRI days was shot in teams for parts of it. So. There's what twelve stages a day or something, and three were individual. Three were individually scored, but run as teams, and then three were teams only uh, or thereabouts, right? And um, and you're right. There was like three or four two to threes back from a video series we did years ago, which I don't think is even up anymore. Which is a five gun comparison where we had I bought a Savage, a Ticker, a Howard, a Remington, and a Thompson Center. All in two to threes, and did multiple videos where we compared them all against each other. Uh, but we had those five guns, so we actually had those five guns. We had two to three ammo loaded in forty grain, fifty grain, sixty grain, and you basically randomly selected those mm. one of the five guns, one of the three types of ammo, and you were given a paddock with a target in the middle, and it was all about communication between you and your spotter mm. because no one was going to hit it first, right? There was no data given, mm. no information given, no zero given. It was designed that your first shot was missed, right, which was intentional. And your spotter would then communicate to you where your bullet went, perhaps what you should do to correct for it. And we saw guys getting on in two or three shots mm -hmm. and we saw guys never get on. And then we have a punch up. 
<laughs> yeah. Quite possibly, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you could definitely tell the ones who could see their own miss and correct and know how to use the reticle to correct. And then you had people trying to – they weren't sure whether the spotter was calling a correction or calling where they hit. Yep. Yes. And it was like that, yeah. <laughs> no, your other left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Up and yeah. left and you're like – is that where my bullet went or is that it, what I need to do? Yeah, both. <laughs> I remember I remember one stage from PR. Oh, wow. What a nostalgia our episode here. Um, we said it was going to be about bucking, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's because none of us are going. That's that's why. Uh, we'll make some predictions in a moment. But um, the uh, that particular uh, – I remember PRS, uh, sorry, PRI, one of the stages, we had two guys um, and they were shooting – and there was a, it was a stage where one guy was a dedicated spotter on his rifle and another one was shooting it. And you had to basically, as a team, work together to guide them onto it. And one was using an MOA scope. Oh, no. <laughs> one was using a <coughs> mill scope. And they hadn't clarified that they were talking a different language. This is about seven or eight stages into the event. This is like day two. And... I remember seeing them. They're like, oh, "Come up too, come up too." And the other guy's like, "I did." <laughs> <laughs> All over the shop, and oh yeah, they 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 learnt after that. <laughs> I think actually, I think everyone within earshot learnt after that. Uh, there's a difference uh, between MOA and MRAD, and you should yeah. work that out prior mm. to uh, engaging a stage together. Mm. That was quite fun <laughs> for me. It was it was quite fun for me. So. Yeah, back in the day, back in the day when MOA was used in this type of thing. Yeah. Mm. You used to have to run out and set your own targets back then. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. You guys have oh, got a good time for that story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you want us to tell that story, put it in the comments if you want us to hear the uh, <laughs> setting your own target story. And I could even find <laughs> the video for you with guys yep. soaring up. Is, is it that or one or the, the, the pack up? There's that, the that video that I know the appropriate oh, the podcast. Yeah. We're, not, we're not releasing those pack up videos. Or <laughs> well, how about the, the signy? Sh- uh, Sean with the si- 90 degree. Yeah, there's a few. Yes. If you go back on the ID channel, there yeah. are some interesting <clears> videos of those early days. Didn't they have to shoot upside down at one point? Nothing, no. nothing that inverted. Not that was that was a, oh, that was a oh, picture. That was, was a, a photo. Uh, that was a photo. Uh, that was a yeah. photo I I put up, and it hit the US <laughs> uh, PRS. You know, the general shooting crowd, and it went to some crazy number. People were like this PRS thing has gone too far. This is ridiculous. <laughs> It was just us shooting it, like shooting one little cutaway scene, like yeah. a like a Family Guy style cutaway, <laughs> throwaway scene, um, for a video that was completely unrelated, um, and that snapshot of that ended up uh, going viral and uh, getting a lot of abuse. So, yeah, Josh, you look yes. like you had something to say. Uh, there is a question. Oh, what? What? No, it's yeah, someone's there's, listening. There's people watching. Wow. No. Amazing. Wow. Okay. They all from Bucken. <laughs> yes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Prepping for the weekend. No, I'm, look, I'm looking to get into PRS, starting with 22, then eventually moving on to Centerfire. Mm-hmm. Would you choose an Arkin EP5 5 to 25 or a Vortex Venom 5 to 25? Ooh. Sorry, what was the first part? I was reading another question we've got on YouTube, which I'll look at in a minute. Sorry. Arkin 5 to 25. So looking to get into PRS, starting with 22, moving to Centerfire. Yep. Between the Arkin EP5 and the Vortex Venom. Which Ooh. one f- focuses down closest if you're starting with a 22? Well, that's a smart question. Not, oh, not bad yeah. for a bloke who came 15. Yeah. <laughs> He's done well. I don't, I don't know either of those scopes just, too well, but the one yeah, that, wow. which one focuses down the closest? Does anybody in the room sell them? Would they know? I, I do sell them, but I can't tell you off the top of my head uh, between those <laughs> two. But I can find out pretty quickly on this amazing website. T- and, and it's really good actually you bring it up, actually, because there was an <laughs> announcement I was wanting to make right. uh, last episode, but I wasn't here. Uh, and we oh, wow. did not. We ran out of time because you, you, you had to offend everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, we... Um, we wanted to say, because obviously we've been sponsored uh, by Scoped Out and Projectile Warehouse over the years, mm-hmm. that those two have become oh, yeah. one. It's like a Spice Girls song or something. And so it's the opposite of a divorce. Well, it could it's, be. It's like a marriage. I mean, well, Maybe. I don't know if it's a marriage. It's just a moving Is in. It just, de fac- de facto. just we, de look, facto. We basically de facto. killed one off and we're running with the other one. <laughs> right, so it's like an Elizabeth de facto. <laughs> 
Oh uh, shit! Do I do it again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Who lives? Projectile warehouse has all moved on to scope down. Uh, yeah. So if you're looking, <laughs> he's been hit with a stick. Plus, he's been hit with a stick. He's gone too far, apparently. Right. Well, wait, welcome mm. to the apology episode for next <laughs> next time around. Um, the I, I'm pretty sure that the reason I don't know is because I actually think they're they're probably both pretty close and pretty much everything you're going to find with, with most of the, mm. the PRS and the NRL 22 stuff, you're going to be fine with either of those scopes. They will focus down oh. pretty well. Um, I, I will have the actual numbers for a, for a moment, but I do want to say that, yeah, if everything uh, scoped out in projector warehouses come into one website to make it all easier, put it in one place, do all the things and, so and you that, only have one login. And, and that website is? Scoped out. Oh, there you go. But if you go to Projector Warehouse, you'll still end up on Scoped ah, Out. Look so, at that. Yeah. yeah. It's like, we, uh, nice. it's like we've uh, tricked the algorithm or just Done Google for, or whatever. For forward message. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <Basically> <laughs> Is that how button. that works? No, I, I don't really know how it works. <laughs> There's lots um, of carrier pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> lots of carrier pigeons. <laughs> yeah. Spot on. I think so, the so, only the only other thing I'd look uh, at. You're, you're, um, just, just for those who are interested in numbers and statistics and aren't interested in coming 15th, um, 14 metres is where the, uh, the Venom will – Oh, that's this good. is the 5 yeah. to 25 magnification one, and 25 yards, or about 22 metres or thereabouts, um, okay. is where the Arkin will come down to. Um, either good, yep. you are probably, not probably, the Arkin EP5, I would say, is nicer on glass. Mm -hmm. That was going to be my comment, yes. Yep. Uh, then the Venom, but there's also a couple hundred bucks yeah. extra uh, yep. than the, the Venom. So the Strike Eagle and the EP5 are probably a closer comparison yeah. between the two. Uh, from features wise, and, and the Arkan is a little bit cheaper than the Strike Eagle. I'd still argue the Arkan's got nicer glass than the Strike Eagle as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair the, argument. The Vortex is a very well known quantity as well. Great mm. warranty, all of those yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. But you would also, um, the, the Arkans are bulky. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? They're a chunky scope, right? So if you're just PRSing and NRLing, NRLing, um, no problems, right? That, yep. That's fine. In fact, that probably helps because a little bit of extra weight in the Big gun. Big turrets fine. and everything, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, but the strike kick was a little slender, uh, and so if you are doing a bit more of the hunting, you want a little bit slenderer scope than the Arkan, that could be the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, there's our sponsorship message. Was that, Did that answer the question, Josh? I think so. Are they both illuminated? Uh, yes. <coughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's the Venom isn't. So asking for the venom. So if you're if you're thinking about a venom but stretching to an EP5, I'd mm -hmm. probably go the EP5. If you were deciding between the EP5 and the, the um, Strike Eagle, I'd choose size and maybe have a look at the reticle and see <coughs> if one yep. one is preferred than the other. They both are very similar reticles. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm not sure on the reticles, but I've really gone towards the point two holds for your elevation. Yep, I think your point five <coughs> is is not too bad, but Especially with the twenty two, you you might want to narrow down to those point twos or point two five sort of subtensions. No, <clears throat> it just gives you a more refined aiming point. I find where yeah. the point the, the point five subtensions you sort of float in there, but doesn't matter for you, mate. Doesn't no. matter for you. Yeah, that's all right. You just hold halfway between the point fives and you got a point two five. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah good. There is a uh, a comment on one of our videos actually un unrelated to the podcast. I guess it's on the same channel. What is zeroing a PRS stage, Andy? What is <laughs> what is zeroing? <laughs> I don't. Believe I've ever zeroed one. Really? What? No. No, I like. Oh wait, 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 wait. I we, don't. We, speaking of zeros, hang on. Here we go. We've missed the oh. entire point of the podcast. <laughs> there, there's a point to this. There's a point tonight. There is. Oh, okay. So after how many how many years have you been shooting PRS for Andy? I don't know. 2017, 2018. I mean, he was coming out with me and Noble. PRI, um, PRI, bloody days. shooting a thousand meters, and he was like, "Oh my gosh, this <laughs> is amazing! I bought my two seventy. I'm just yeah. going to pack up and go home." <laughs> <laughs> so you've been you've been shooting out at the club for a long time, Andy. Oh, oh yeah, oh, this is quite time. the opposite of zeroing a PRS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the, the complete opposite, which yeah, yeah. Andy had never actually done, to zeroing a, a, oh. a, a PRS stage is winning a club match. Yeah. And oh, well, there we go. He well finally well popped his cherry. Yay. Yeah, there we go. Good. Yeah, it just took everyone not to be there. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, zeroing a PRS stage is when you don't hit any of the available targets. Mm. Correct. And you get zero points out of the available points. Yeah, also called a donut. Yeah. Yep. It's or, a great time. I, I'm yeah. sure I've told this story, but I'm going to tell it again. 2019 and finale? No. Oh, no. Darwin? Darwin. Yes. I'm sure I've told this story, but I remember walking up to James Head. Josh is videoing. I'm walking up with like a box of donuts. 
And I walked up to him and he's like, oh, thanks, man. I'm like, hey, man, have a donut. And he's grabbed it out and he's put it in his mouth. And as he's taking his first bite, I'm like, you've earned it, buddy. And he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> The oh. double realisation absolutely made And he just zeroed it. a stage and he hated me. He didn't talk to me for the rest of the day. It was great. So uh, the, the, the extended uh, comment on this is what is a peer, what is zeroing a pisser? A pisser? What? What is zeroing a PRS stage? Missing all your targets. I'm hoping to go to my first match in a couple of months mm-hmm. and I hope I don't. But I also know that if I do, it's lack of experience and just to keep trying. Uh, Bang on, buddy! You've solved your own your own question. It is it is missing all your targets. You're spot on, mm-hmm. and exactly right, man. Just go and I've, enjoy it. I've done it more recently than I'd care to. Admit. <laughs> 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 yep, it's a thing that can happen. Yep, it no, is definitely. definitely a thing that can happen. My first yeah. stage at Darwin last year, I uh, yeah zeroed. <laughs> Completely. Which, which scope hadn't you zero? Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? I like to keep myself guessing like that. Mm. Um, I think I think it's just the case of when it's going to happen, not if it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah true. I, 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 I might have, but I can't recall if I've ever zeroed. But I probably have. Maybe. I'm sure one of you will look into it. Wow, there is some... You assume there. we put time into this. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Josh? How many stages have you zeroed? A few. <laughs> he ran out of fingers and toes. <laughs> I went through the dozen. Stop counting there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we, we've uh, we've been asked a couple of things on uh, on YouTube. Uh, what are you drinking, Rusty? Well, I'm drinking Opal Nero. For those who uh, don't know, it's a classier version. Or at least I tell myself that because mm. it's on the shelf. Because it's curvy of Sambuca. Oh, okay. Um, nice. So curvy. Uh, it is like licorice type thing, which I know a lot of people hate and triggers a lot of people, and that's yeah, what I'm here to no, do is just defend yeah. people. I like to call myself plushy from time to time. Um, the other question that was in the in we've the really comments. got a new theme on this podcast, don't we? Uh, I can step, it, I can step it up people. a notch because I have to turn it down to what I'm normally. Yeah, I know, I know you do. I know you do. I know you. Yeah. Oh, uh, idea for a torture stage: you have to hold a prone plank while shooting a target. Body can only touch the ground while cycling the bolt. So we're going to move on from that suggestion. Jeez. And that's going to bring us in. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion, Shell Drake, but no. Um, the, the, we're going to look at predictions for Bucken, All right. gentlemen. So remembering the revised rules is that you pick your one, the first, second, and third. Mm-hmm. If they finish in the top three, they, you get a point. If they finish in the position you pick them at, you get two points. If you pick the entire top three, you get eight points. And one other clarification I want to make, because it perhaps wasn't as clear and it also cost uh, Josh a point, your wildcard entry, which we did put in uh, previous episodes, your wildcard entry is only there if someone in your top three doesn't make it. Ooh. It doesn't just uh, earn points yeah. because you set a name. So your f- your wildcard entry, Josh, of Lucas in Sydney, who won the match, gets nothing because everyone else showed up. No, I definitely put him down to win. Yeah, no, you didn't. I watched the podcast again today. <laughs> <laughs> He's spent time on this. <laughs> no, check it tomorrow. It won't be in there. He's got a spreadsheet <laughs> with colours and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you can't replace videos on YouTube, I know this. All right. <laughs> Otherwise, I, no, you can't. Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you two right? Yeah. yeah no, we need some, a hug or something? No, I just I don't like the fact that you can't do that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with Josh. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. So... Uh, Josh, are you ready? You got I've your, already got mine. You've got mode. yours. I'm backing an all, all SA podium. Oh, Ooh. look out. Bloody racist. You know Thanks. I'm not shooting. <laughs> That's why I'm backing an all <laughs> SA podium. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't change anything, Andy. No, no. Sixth just, isn't all we don't fifth, vote down to 15th. Yeah. 15th isn't on the podium. <laughs> all right, if you finish so 15th of the next Josh, match, so we Josh, are, is we're there, including Is there a pen <laughs> within arm's reach here? Because I could actually write it into our chart here if you've got a pen. No, I've just got is, a you got one your, whacking device. Uh, have you got one in your – oh, wow. What have I got? Oh, let's play that reloading clip knife. again. You can, scra- you can scratch it in if you like. <laughs> oh, and he's got a pen. <laughs> and an armrest. Look at him being prepared. Yeah. Uh, and an armrest. Should should be, uh, yeah. You oh. should check these out. We haven't said – Oh, right. it's oh, Lovis gear. They make, they make good stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, Josh, <laughs> Thanks, who Lovis. are your top three? All right. Back in Ash to win the match. Ash to oh, take oh, out the match. Well, I mean, that's... He's, he's oh. just in form. It's the easy bet. Okay. Good call. It doesn't Ash. technically fit the Team SA thing. <laughs> <laughs> it still does well, now. Yeah. We're going to claim yeah. it. All right. Okay, we're going to claim it. For season, yes. Yeah, we're going to claim it. Born in SA. It's the season. actually. He's not really born. No, he's not. No, no, no. Stop saying that. It's where you started the season. It's where you're yeah, registered yeah, with the with club. That. Yep, that's right. Yeah. 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 All right, Josh. Oh, bugger, we're going to have to get better. Second. We can't keep Back and Joel. 
Joe? Making a comeback. He's got Ooh. new Is he still new shooting Paris? Yeah, no, he's okay. got new, oh, new, quit. new guns okay. and everything. All right, cool. Uh, oh, really? I thought he quit and we were just going to hang out. Um, he definitely got third. more hugs than I've ever seen him get. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get hugs. Guy Jackson. Yeah, you came 15th. Um, guy in third place. All right, Andy, speaking of you going 15th, who are you backing for this one? I'll uh, put a list here if you, if I was, you need a reminder. <laughs> I was also going to go for Ash. because I, I Ash reckon, to win? Or, yeah, I reckon, uh, I reckon him just... Well, you just, are in front of Josh, so you, you just, sort of need to keep staying in front of Josh. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. And then I was going to go Luke because I reckon... Okay, Lucas. Those two are still going to fight it out. Yeah, all right. Uh, That's cool. And then Guy. And then Guy. Guy's getting a lot of third yeah. places here. All right. Plushy, what about oh, you, mate? Oh, this is tough. Um, there's lots of people that could. Mm. I mean, there are. While well, you're thinking, while you're thinking, I'm going to apologise to Sean. Sean is on one point as well. Oh, oh wow. Because he was Sean. here for one episode. So, Sean, like, you are you are on one point. You've done it. You've done a bearman, but not. Well, I would have. I would have. Quite so well. Based off the back of that, I may have included him in the top three, but you let me down, so no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Lucas. He's in some Lucas, pretty red in, hot, pretty red form. hot form. Yep. Um, Who else runs KL, KRG? Yeah, because KRG, you have to no, choose right, KRG. You have to be a KRG. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fun. Oh man, maybe that's my. Pro- I need to buy a KRG I now. I'm going to lend you tough. a pretty colourful one. <laughs> Is that a ticket? Um, <laughs> Michael rough, Blackburn. Rough. Michael Blackburn. Mm. Is he in, is yeah, he there are some other names in there. Yeah. Okay. Is he actually shooting? He is shooting. He's shooting. Okay, cool. Blackburn. And I'm going to go one Joel Renaudi because Joel. I feel like he's due. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Yeah, yeah, I bumped into him at the range the other day and he was running around with a foundation. He's changed yeah. up some equipment. Mm. Yes. Ah, so yeah, not yes. a KRG, right? He's <laughs> off my list. Uh, I am also. I'm going to go for Michael Blackman and take the win. Oh, righto, righto, good. I, I forget. Is he shooting the US? Yes. Yeah. So he's shooting. I'm backing. He's, he's in form for that. Think, hang on. Is he fact? I think he's shooting factory. The factory Bagara. I think yes. Doesn't matter. He's still going to kick all your asses, right? So. Oh, right. Cool. cool. Um, I will then. Uh, I'm going to back in. I got to. I got to. I got to throw some wild card. You guys are all going. Oh, hang on. Who's names. my wild card? I didn't get it. Oh yeah. No, we haven't got wild cards yet. Oh right. Okay. Oh, right. Yep. Cool. We have got the list. We're not doing this blind this time. Although someone may not rock up. So. Um, I'm still putting Collie for my wild card then. <laughs> He's. Uh, uh, people. Uh, all right. Do whatever you want, Josh. Josh is going Collie on the wild card. <laughs> all right. <laughs> cool. No worries. Uh, and we're going, uh, I'm going to go, st- I'm going to stick with the black theme. I'm going to Stephen Blacker for the uh, third place. Everyone's gone quiet on that. <laughs> right, with, eh? with his three, isn't he three? Yeah. Are you running yeah. your 308 or your 22 BR, Steve? Oh, is he in, in if tactical? You can, is he if you can just, if you can just let us know, that might change <laughs> sorry, the outcome. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry mate, you, you dropped. You dropped if you're. No, no, you did blacker. That's going to get edited in. I did. I'm going to go Ash for second place, not because I think he'll get second place, more so because you guys are all chosen first, and if he just doesn't quite do as well as someone else, he's gone in second. So that's where I'm going to put him. And uh, and you know what? I'm going to I'm going to the wild. Uh, no, this is not a wild card. I'm going to. Uh, I'll keep it sensible. I'll go Lucas in third. Right, and then my wild card's gonna be Phil Lou. Come on, Phil. <laughs> you've got it. You've got this. Right, Andy. What's your wild card? Uh, I think Sean's gonna get in there. Oh, you stole my thunder. Sean uh, watching the podcast or Sean Lawson? Uh, both. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone named Sean in the wild card? And yep. and, and wasn't plushy? the wild card what? like someone that wasn't shooting at the match? No, no. The wild card is if one of your top three doesn't attend the match, they go into it. I, I know the rules clearly. <laughs> I Good. pay attention. Good. Um, who else we got? I was tossed. Is Hennessy? I was tossing up between Sean and Hennessy. Is he shouldn't? Um, no, I don't think he is. I'm looking uh, through the, the number of the list. I Correct. don't think I saw no, his name. He's not. Out there. Who else we got? Who else, who else has been around the Because I know Buckin has some usually small targets. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Here's your wild card. Come on, keep it. Come on, plus you keep no, it quick. No, Let's just, go. I'm Let's dragging, go. I'm dragging it out. We need content. It's Guys, we no, we don't. We don't. We're running over time. We're wasting I, people's I see lives. One, I see one. I'm about to mute you. Hurry up. Dan. Dan is? Dan is. Mm. Uh, he shot very well last time I watched him. Hmm. Watch him shoot. He's going to bring right. it. That's it. That's it. That's the uh, episode. <laughs> I just got a message from Sean that says, wow, that was rough. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Sean watching know, us? Or was, the that, was that your performance or the way we talked about it? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> 
But he'll be back next episode to apologise again. <laughs> and uh, we hope everyone has a good shot in Bucking. Uh, enjoy. See you guys. See you and congratulations to Charles Leclerc. <laughs> he won Monaco. Come free. The first time ever. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>